I'm just going to show you how to proceed and complete these skill exercises. Uh, the tutorials are pretty self-explanatory because they show you how to do something and then you do it with them. Uh, the skill exercises you have to complete independently. And even if you get a few things wrong, you can actually stay in there and fix it and resubmit it without having to redo the whole thing. So I'm going to go through the first one. And I'm going to hit preview and new attempt. And either you can click launch or wait for it to launch. But what will happen either way is you're going to get a little file that kind of drops down. Now it is best if you complete this in Google Chrome uh, because that file ends up displaying in the bottom left corner. And then what you're going to want to do is left click on that. And that launches Snap. Okay, so once you're in here, then it's going to explain what you need to do. So it wants us to open up employee table. So I'm going to double click on that. Okay, and now I'm done with that exercise. So I'm going to click on the next button. Delete the record for Scott Jorgensen. So I'm going to select that record. And then I'm going to hit delete. Okay, and I'm going to go to the next. Now, this is like a little quirk because you can't see everything. They want us to insert a record. So what I normally do is I click the little arrow here and kind of move it by dragging the title bar. But that actually shows me everything. So then I'm going to click down here. And we'll press tab in between. And Snap can be a little picky about how you do things. So if you covered a specific technique in the chapter, that is how you should do it when you're going through these SNAP exercises. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm click on Next. Uh, insert a new field in the employee table with the short text data type and name the field department ID. Okay, so we're going to come down here. I'm going to do short text. And we're going to call it department ID. Now, there's two different ways you can name it. I typed right over the top of that highlighted field, but you'll notice in the fields table, there is name and caption. And for a lot of these first exercises, it actually wants you to come into name and ca caption and put the field name in there. So just if you just key it in here, it may not like it and mark it wrong. So we're going to click on Next. Uh, change the field size to two characters. So again, I'm going to click in this field, select it. Change the size to two and press Enter. Say yes at the prompt. And then I'm just double checking to make sure it kept two. And then I'm going to click on Next. Uh, now we have to key in the department ID for each one. Uh, if you make a typo, it will also mark it wrong. And you'll notice these are all capitalized. So you want to make sure you have the same capitalization. Now, I could also use my down arrow here. I wouldn't have to click in each one. Now, I'm going to skip the last one because I'm going to purposefully do something wrong. 
so that you can see what happens and how to go back and fix it. Okay, so now I'm going to click on next. So we're going to move the department ID field column so it's positioned between the birth date field and the annual salary field. So I'm going to point at the top here, left drag it, and release. Okay. Adjust the field widths of the columns. So I'm going to position on that line between. We'll use this double click method. And now we're going to save and then we will close the file or the uh, table. And now we're going to check the answer. And I know I have at least one thing wrong because I did not fill in that last one. Okay, so you did not correctly type the department IDs. Okay, that looks like that is the only error. And I did that one on purpose. So I don't want to hit finished. Okay, what I want to do is fix it. I don't want to reset because then I'd have to do the whole thing over. What I want to do is hit return. And then I want to go back to that step where we had all of the departments. Let me open up employees here. We'll take a look. And so I'm going to come down here and hit PR. Okay, and now I can close it. Let me save the table. I think everything else is okay. Let's make sure it got auto adjusted. So I'm going to save it, close it, and then we'll check it again. Now it should mark everything correct. And seeing this green bar across the top is a good thing because <laughs> it means you did everything right. Um, on these exercises, you only need to get 80% correct. Okay, so, you know, if you miss one thing or even two, chances are you're at 80%. How can you tell what your percentage is? You have to look in grades. Uh, here, it should tell you, you know, if you had anything wrong. It's showing that I missed this, but I did end up getting it correct. So I am at 100%. Okay, and you would be able to see that in grades.